What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to the channel. So yesterday we got the actual text document of the Harvest Moon Festival that starts on Tuesday. So just in a few more days, uh, we got some images. We got a little bit more details of the buffs. Uh, let's jump right on in and go into it. Now, first things first, Farmer Tom is the NPC that is going to be selling the buffs. Um, these are various fruits that are going to give you a temporary buff, similar to like the Carnival Cosmetics. And there is a couple of real standouts, but let's go through them all. Uh, the Bruised Apple causes your face to pucker from its sour taste, increases health by 25% and reduces damage taken by 25%. The Carrot Dash grants heroes the speed and agility of a rabbit, gain 500 movement speed and a 15% chance to dodge attacks while active. A Fruitimal, upon consumption, your basic attacks will fire a bouncing Fruitimal. This produce projectile will explode upon contact with an enemy, dealing 750% 70, hero damage. The Popcorn Burst, uh, we're going to get into this one in a moment. Uh, when defeated, enemies explode into a popcorn shower, dealing 25% of their max health as AoE damage to surrounding enemies. The Radish Rocket, hero will periodically shoot Radish Rockets. These rapid roots home in on enemies and explode, dealing 3000% of your ability power. We got the Squash Smash, heroes unleash a small shockwave. Whenever you land from a jump, dealing 100% of hero damage and slowing nearby enemies by 50%. And then the whole grain guard, the hero is enveloped in a freshly baked protective aura of whole grains, grants a 10% damage reduction and causes enemies that strike the hero to take 500% thorns damage in return. Now we also got a look at the scarecrow pets. Here's a full screen image of it. Um, these pets, it has been confirmed. The pet on the left is the Scarecrow. This is a gem pet. It's going to cost 400 gems, be available from the Emporium, uh, or probably the Black Market Dealer as well. Uh, we'll have to see there, but it will be a 400 gem cost on this one. And then the one on the right is the Scarecrow Ghost. Uh, this particular pet is the rare pet that will drop from any victory chest in the game. So... This one's going to be rare, y'all, and it is going to be the thing to farm while this event is happening. So get yourself a Scarecrow uh, Ghost, and then, of course, there will be a Gold Scarecrow or a Dapper Scarecrow, whatever it ends up being named. This one's going to be 250 million gold from the Black Market Dealer. Um, this will be just a gold version of those pets. Uh, the Scarecrows do have the ability Call of Scarecrow, fires a Cursed Apple that upon impact summons a scarecrow that confuses enemies. Enemies are confused for 10 seconds and take 25% increased damage. Uh, the ability sounds decent, does not sound incredible. The 25% increased damage is just much, much lower than what you're gonna get from like a Dragolich. Uh, however, I'm assuming since this is actually firing a projectile, the range could be quite good. Now we'll have to see how good this confuse is and then additionally, the cooldown of it. Um, if this is a 30 second cooldown and it lasts 10 seconds, then it's going to be up a third of the time. Assuming the confuse is similar to like maybe Call of Madness from the Mystic, uh, it could end up being quite powerful. Uh, we're going to have to get our hands on this pet to check that ability out. And then the Emporium. There is going to be a Harvest Gunwitch costume for sale. This is going to be 1200 gems and it is going to be a Harvest themed costume for the Gunwitch. So once again, this event starts on September 10th. Um, we'll run for at least a couple of weeks, I'm assuming. Uh, I don't think they gave a confirmed end date on it, uh, but it will be up for at least a couple of weeks. Now let's go back up and look at these buffs. Okay, now the popcorn burst buff. This is the one I wanted to talk about. When defeated, enemies explode into a popcorn shower dealing 25% of their max health as AoE damage to surrounding enemies. What does this tell us? Well, you guys remember, those of you that have been around for a while, you remember Boom Servos and how powerful they were uh, many, many years ago. The reason these were so powerful is they scaled off of the enemy's health, and th that means they had unlimited scaling. So you go all the way up to 2 billion health enemies, you're gonna get more value 
out of each individual one. Well, this popcorn burst is scaling off enemies' health, which means there is no scaling limiter. Um, you go up to a 2 billion health enemy, you kill them, they're going to explode doing 500 million health or 500 million damage in an AoE surrounding. So imagine a full group of this. Um, going to make for some beast mode, absolute beast mode, no doubt. Uh, you got four players that have this. And assuming you all have four different targets that you kill, that's 2 million AoE damage as a group right there. So the popcorn burst is going to be a super, super hot item. And one that I personally am super excited to check out as I just think it's going to be incredible. Now, looking through the rest of these, um, of course, we've got the Frutimal, which is hero damage based. Uh, going to be a bouncing projectile uh, that explodes. I'm assuming this will be uh, like a fruit version of the cats, maybe from like the Meow Mirror, uh, except they're going to scale off hero damage. And we got the Radish Rocket, which is going to scale directly off of ability power. The real standouts here for me are, of course, that Popcorn Burst is the number one. But then additionally, you've got the Bruised Apple, which gives you 25% increased health and you reduce damage by 25%. You've got the 15% chance to dodge, and then you've got the whole grain guard. Now, we don't know if these consumables are gonna stack, but if they do stack, oh man, that's gonna be one seriously tanky mofo. Um, if you take one of your super tanks in the game, like say the Barbarian, give them a bruised apple, give them popcorn burst, give them the whole grain guard, assuming they will all stack together, you are gonna have an act, a crazy, crazy force to be reckoned with, with those particular buffs. So definitely save up. Um, I believe these are gonna be available for gold. Um, it was asked a couple of times on stream, but I don't think we got an answer on that. Uh, but they will be uh, a consumable that will be sold from Farmer Tom here. So some hot items you're gonna want to use to help you do whatever you're doing. Now, as I mentioned in the video yesterday, um, by all means, you're going to want to farm that Scarecrow Ghost Pet. It's going to be really, really valuable. And then a year from now or two years from now, this pet is going to have just stupid levels of value. If you are a longtime player, you want to farm these pets up and keep them. Don't just go and sell them. Now, on that same note, no matter where you're at in the game, any map that has a victory chest will have a chance of dropping the pet. It is a flat drop chance, which means if you're a Chaos 1 player, you're going to have the exact same drop chance as someone doing floor 999 in Onslaught mode. So it's an event for all players of all levels. Uh, everyone should jump in and participate and have a good time with it. Um, yeah. The pet looks kind of cool. I'm looking forward to getting one myself. But even drop chance across the board, very, very farmable. Do target farm the pet, but do not neglect what you're already doing. So get your AP resets done, get your onslaught climbing done, get your expedition grinding done. Whatever you're doing in the game, you're gonna have a chance of dropping the pets. So make sure you are min-maxing your grind time and going after more than one thing at once. But looking forward to this Harvest Moon event starting uh, just a couple more days and the grind will be on. So thanks a ton for watching. Uh, links to this particular article are down in the description below. So head on over and check it all out. Thanks a ton and I will see you next time.